All right, here we go. First spot of the day. Oh, I saw like three spots just pulling into this thing. So we'll see what the main spot is. Zach's already over there uh, messing around. So, uh, ooh, nice grip. Also, there's that curb grind over gap. It looks kind of cool. It looks hard to skate, but it looks cool. Tyra would say there's some ledges behind it, but I went over there. That might be maybe at the other building or something like that. There's a bunch of construction going on. Dude, yeah, this place is insane. So yeah, normally I like warming up at a skate park. I didn't realize that you were actually taking me to a skate park. Like it even has coping on the top. Is that supposed to be a skate stopper? I think so. Because it's coping. <laughs> Everything here has coping on it. They, the skate stoppers are sort of whatever. They don't even look like it'd be hard skate stoppers to get out though. It looks like it just welded to this. You'd probably take a hammering. Yeah, but holy shit. Yeah, what a crazy spot. Yeah, what is this? Why would they build that? Like, think about designing a bench and thinking to yourself, you know what would make this bench more aesthetically pleasing if it was Wally accessible? I love it when architects get creative. We're yeah, me too. Advantage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Your creativity is definitely our advantage. So this corner side is kind of sick. Oh, you can, like, grind to the other one? Whoa. That's metal. They put metal on it. Dude, I swear to God. They had... The, whoever built this gates, there's no way around it. They were like, you know what? I'm gonna hook the homies up. All right, well, I'm gonna warm up on this and then maybe I'll film something from my YouTube video. Probably not, probably just part stuff, we'll see. Oh, that was it. Next try. Oh my Do it, oh! Dude, party Dude, now, adult oh. later. Ollie up's kind of tough. It's like a little, a little tall. It's not like a baby Ollie. It's like a, it's like an Ollie Ollie. You! That was sick. You like hung up and still did it. This isn't exactly the most forgiving thing to hang up on. like workout Dude, upper body cool. flex <laughs> so since it has that skate stopper on the top i think it'd be kind of cool to like ollie up to nose manual and then like i don't know if i'm gonna like bonk over the thing or actually nolly over the knob i'm gonna go back in nose manual and then try to get off the end we'll see i think it's gonna work if it doesn't then i'll edit this part out <laughs> So it also has this little Wally feature. I did a blunt of fakie off camera first try, so probably gonna choke on that a couple times. And then, uh, yeah, maybe after that we might go into like actual filming. Maybe I'll skate the straight out ledge real quick too, though.
what's that I thought you were talking about earlier about the inside grind? Yeah. Hardest trick. <laughs> Maybe I could actually like film that for my part. And then without thinking, I kick flipped up. I swear to God, I, that is like the weirdest thing. I 100% promise that wasn't to like seem weird and quirky on my YouTube video. I was not thinking kick flip. It just happened. That was fucking crazy. That's, uh, that's the skate mind for you, dude. You're like, you're in like a whole, you put yourself in like a whole nother uh, stimulation. I was thinking like 10 minutes into the future. <laughs> Motherfucker, that was amazing. Oh, it's a line. <laughs> oh, <it's not. laughs> yes, senior. All right, last thing before I start filming for my part, I want to do a trick up, trick on the bank, trick off the bank. I'm thinking kickflip up because evidently I can do that on accident, so I should be able to do it on purpose. Pivot fakey and then. My comfort trick lately has been faking through 60 flip off of stuff, so I might try that. I know it's going to throw me right into the rocks, but whatever. If I do the kick flip up and pivot the fakie with the control that I hope I have, hopefully I can come out of the pivot of the fakie off this corner so I can fakie 360 flip awkwardly heel side, but I think it would still flip right over to not that. That's the goal. But if I go over to that, then it just shows my lack of skill. Oh, rock, shake. Found some rings. Ah My goodness. So, drenched in sweat, got my uh, trick for my part, I'm pretty excited. I managed to skate the most of this spot that I could in one line. Obviously, I did a line because everything's a line. I did a trick, I'm not gonna tell you what I did, but I will say that I did a trick on this bench that this is maybe the first spot I've encountered in the streets where it is physically possible for me to do this trick the way I wanna do it. But there's something about it that was actually making it more difficult. 
And the only hint I'm gonna give is this. This is what was stopping me. These are my marks. But got like some cool stuff here. Pretty excited about it. We're gonna hit another spot right now. We're just gonna get a long lens angle of one of the tricks of the, you know, the line and then some water and then next spot because dude, every time I come here, fucking Dowdy has so many fucking cool spots. Like, look at this thing. Like, look at this thing. I've been under the impression for so long that San Diego doesn't have that many aesthetic looking spots down here. And I like skating LA because it just seems to have a little bit more grit and flavor. But this guy right here, he's got the colorful spots. He's got the unique spots. He's got the spots where I don't even necessarily have to ollie that much. Uh, so yeah, keep the day going. Man, one spot down, legs are already dust. I'm trying to give them the second wind. This spot's connected to the first spot though. This steep bank that they skate stopped. But for whatever reason, they skate stopped it with like triangle. So you can kind of just like bash over them. Or so we assume. Yeah, I mean, it looks like he's going over it. He's also doing a front side, which is like the hardest way to go over it. So yeah, we're gonna do some stuff on this. Get some uh, Zach clips. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think you hit the second one, too. I think your front wheel did. That was sick. Most wall ride guy ever, dude. Transition. Here, can you imagine putting a little quick read at the bottom so you can, like, maybe get to this guy? Maybe get to that guy? What else you got? Uh, backside? Yeah, do a backside. Because the... the... <laughs> Most street dude. Switch front shop? What? Who are you? That ain't that bad. I wonder if you can hit two. Oh, wow. Plowed through. Plowed through two. I mean, my front wheel hit it. making the spot work it's a good spot so here's the next spot it's this wally to stall thing and by that i mean that's not really a spot this is the spot uh, i will definitely probably end up skating that though so really good manual pad run ups a little downhill a little tall to get on it also has this buttery ledge this material this ground oh that is buttery smooth it's a nice little drop off on this side oh you kind of like land and then you have to ride off this little divot right here kind of cool um, and then this Triton Bear right here, I'm assuming people move it around and do grinds on it. I don't know. He almost manual the first try. I pull out the phone. He's like, oh, I got you. Like, he's going to film me. I want the manual clip of you. Street Zach. One of the cool things about this spot, which is also one of the bad things about this spot, when you land, you sort of land like half-ass deck checking this crack at the bottom and it, i don't know this feels kind of cool to like roll over because it's like slightly downhill it almost makes it feel like it's a thing but it probably doesn't even show up on film but you feel it and it feels pretty neat oh backside grab one i always grab you for that one i never really thought to grab backside my man is gonna take forever that's gonna be uh let's give it two more at least all right two more manuals man it's like the hardest trick to film like any kind of manual not this but <laughs> Oh! Aren't we glad that I asked you to try it again and then you just rifle it off? Thanks, baby. That's what I like to see.
right into this. <laughs> I'm going right at it. <laughs> like, like of all the spaces that I could go, I go right at it. <laughs> yeah, I can save the left. <laughs> That is the scariest thing. What is? Like getting towards the end of the manual pad and then falling. I was like wheel biting the whole way. Uh, so heavy toe side. Dang. No. She's just, just like, no. Will, will there be any chance you could park on that side? Just oh, real quick? Oh, okay, no worries. Thank you. Appreciate it. I don't know if you're in the same place, but where are you going, Oh, no, no. I'm from uh, Long Beach. Oh. Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll thread the needle, baby. It was a Thanks, lady. Uh, I'll try one front side half cap nose manual. That one I might need a different angle, but we'll try it with the car at least once. Wow, on a roll. Yeah, man, this manual pad's actually like pretty much the perfect spot for a trick that I want to try. Uh, as you can see, the further you go that way, the rougher it gets, the lower it gets. So you kind of got to split the difference. Um, but yeah, there's a trick that I want to try here. And I guess you will know if I landed it until my video part comes out, but uh, we shall see. So we're two adult skaters. He didn't bring any wax, but he has lacquer. So he's lacquering this rail. Check this spot out though buttery metal rail it's made of that aluminum material hopefully this will make it grind better um dude i don't dude this might be a terrible idea might be might grind too much or not at all who knows we'll see what happens how long does this take to dry Three minutes. let's see yeah pretty rare uh if you ever seen anyone lacquer a rail you're about to find out whether it's worth it or not it's actually a good idea to maybe uh, try this on aluminum rails. Maybe I'll call this video, aluminum rail doesn't work, try this. And even if it doesn't work, you can still try it. It's just it won't work. <laughs> so Zach is so good at taking me to spots. He actually took me to a food spot and across the street is just this perfect flat bar. As you just saw, we lacquered it. Food That's spot. a food spot. Really good vegan food, evolution. You should definitely eat there. It's, uh, I got a burger and it was delicious. Uh, but yeah, it's starts off skinny and gets thicker so you get to pick your girth which is you know every person's fantasy right pick your girth uh, i'm gonna start off with some basic tricks and then i'm gonna try to do more basic tricks because i don't know if i'm doing anything cool in this i'll try feeble because that's the most obvious trick Got it here and in the hole. Whoops. Slip out. Uh, let's 50 50 uh, the flat bar though. Yeah, that good. Oh. Yeah. My favorite quality of the spot is that it's slightly downhill right here. So the theory is I want to do grinds, land in manual, and go up the curb. So I'll try back 50 50, pop out to manual, ollie up the curb.
maybe those thing up and now yeah. No whack. Yeah. I'm sure you're breaking a roll somewhere. Do it, break it. What? <laughs> <laughs> so I've been really stoked on like the back 180s switch back 5050s. Not that I've been doing them a lot, but people have been doing them a lot. So I'm gonna try to do that. And then I, uh, I also try some blunt side stuff. When I was trying blunts earlier, but even though we lack it, it still sticks on the inside because it's a really thick like aluminum pole. And we are two adults who do not have wax. Like what are we doing? We're blowing it. Airdrop us some wax. Yeah, airdrop. <laughs> Leave us some wax in the comments below. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, back when I did, I guess, speaking grind, I don't know what it's called. No matter how many times I back when I did into 50-50, it never gets any less scary. This is like the scariest trick to me. Oh, that was scary. That was toe side. Scary because like so much balance. Just like luck. I just like back when I did get to like, that's all it is. Hell Mary. To that. That's the, that's the combo. Okay, here's science. If I go further up where it's wider, maybe there's less friction than where it's tighter and touching more tail and truck because it's going around the inside right here. Where it's wider, it should touch less where it's more like a ledge. Maybe I'll be able to do it there. Wait a little, little. you picking your own girth. Let me tell you, there's, it's a good thing. <laughs> Backside flip of all the tricks that I can't do. You're talking yeah. about backside flipping some stair sets here. Yeah, right? What a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna pretend that that didn't happen because that was awful from start to finish. <laughs> That's why that trick's scary. Like, fat rails are so scary to 50 50. This trick to do on rails in general is scary. What a terrible combination. God dang. All right, right. Uh, the other cool thing about this is there's a curb at the bottom so the idea is i did it for his video i'm gonna try it on mine maybe it'll work but slap you up the curb one two with a rail just actually just slapping a rail using the curb um but this is post or pre lacquer so i'm a little nervous but i don't know i did back when i was 50 50 and that's like the scariest grind ever so i back it uh, b i hope I, I hope this video is not cutting to a clip where i eat shit right now <laughs> <laughs> so 
So once again, this is a different spot. Certainly something for my video part going down at this spot. Uh, something I'm actually pretty excited for, a trick that I've been looking for the spot once again for quite some time. I filmed a trick similar to this on a different spot, but now it's gonna be at this spot. You honestly, I'll say this, you have no idea what it is. Josh Holtz, you might actually have a decent guess. Um, everyone else, you don't know what I'm gonna do here. Uh, yeah, awesome spot, great flat bar, select your girth, definitely cool. Thanks again, Zach, for taking me here. Well, I guess we're gonna try to skate something else, man. I've been kind of going in all day today. I don't know how many videos I got out of today, but I've been skating so damn much. Uh, fuck. <laughs>